As Russia continues its invasion of Ukraine, top U.S. general says it is too early to tell the impact of the recent failed Wagner Group mutiny. Meanwhile, the U.N. has called out Russia for attacking schools and hospitals, as well as for using children as human shields. Yi Yunjin has the latest. Western analysts have said Russian President Vladimir Putin appears to be in a heightened emotional state and that his recent public appearances can be seen as damage control following the Wagner Group's recent failed mutiny. CIA Director Bill Burns, during his remarks in England on Saturday, said that the mutiny showed the corrosive effect of President Vladimir Putin's war in Ukraine, while the U.S. military's top general, General Mark Milley, told reporters on Friday that it's likely too early to tell the impact of the Wagner Group mutiny on Russian President Vladimir Putin. The head of the Russian paramilitary organization Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, who led the mutiny, is now confirmed to be in Belarus. His men have been given the choice of joining him or be integrated into Russia's armed forces. Meanwhile, the United Nations has announced it has added Russian armed forces to a global list of shaming for maiming some 518 children, carrying out 480 attacks on schools and hospitals, and using 90 children as human shields. In Ukraine, the Secretary General decided to list the Russian armed forces and affiliated armed groups under Section B of Annex 2 for attacks on schools and hospitals and for killing of children. While the UN report also verified that Ukrainian armed forces killed 80 children, maimed 175 children, and carried out 212 attacks on schools and hospitals, the Ukrainian armed forces are not on the global offenders list. In amid fears that Russia might blow up the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, Ukraine is holding drills to prepare emergency services with how to deal with a potential radioactive disaster. Yunjin, Arirang News.